Sexual tension is a widely acknowledged but often misunderstood phenomenon stemming from brain chemistry, involving hormones like adrenaline, dopamine, oxytocin, kispeptin, and norepinephrine. This complex mixture generates feelings of excitement, security, and anxiety. Triggered by factors like physical appearance, social behavior, and environmental circumstances, sexual tension is the palpable experience of mutual physical attraction with uncertain reciprocity. It can occur with anyone, leading to unexpected desires and reactions. Negative, one-sided, or unwanted sexual tension may result in hormonal impulsivity. Recognizing these feelings in others, especially in social contexts like bars or workplaces, requires careful observation of body language. There are 17 signs of sexual tension and how to deal with them, according to experts. 1. Eye contact. This is the most well-known indicator of a connection with another person and a good way of being able to tell if someone likes you. If you constantly find yourselves locking eyes and holding each other's gaze, this is a sign that you are interested in someone and of bonding and closeness. Our rule of thumb is that the longer it lingers, the greater the tension. Two, staring. You might also find yourself staring at the other person or find they're staring at you. Sometimes you might happen to glance up at the same time and your eyes might soften into a mutual stare. If this happens, it's likely there's something taking place between you. Three, you're aware of their presence. Even if you aren't directly eyeing someone up, you are likely keeping an eye on where they are in the room. You're aware of where they are located and how close they are to you. Your excitement might grow as you feel them moving closer to you. If your intense awareness of this person is bothering you or distracting you, try listening to music or a podcast to distract yourself occupying your attention with a repetitive task or practicing mindfulness around a topic that interests you. Four, awkwardness. Are you forgetting all your words, tripping up or being clumsier than usual? Behaving awkwardly is a sign of sexual tension because your behavior is due to both being excited physically and being hyper aware of yourself and your actions. To deal with any awkward behavior, Try taking five deep breaths to regulate your nervous system before engaging with the other person and try moving slowly. Don't rush and take time to pause and gather your thoughts before you speak. Five, blushing. What does embarrassment lead to? Blushing, of course. As blood rushes to our heads to temper the effects of rising adrenaline, our faces and necks flush pink. This can be a clear giveaway that you're experiencing some level of sexual tension or attraction to someone. Deep breathing to regulate your pulse and your body temperature can help. Six, sweating. As certain hormones flood your body and your pulse quickens, your body temperature might start to rise. This means you might find yourself sweating a little, which can be a source of embarrassment and anxiety. You can't stop yourself sweating, but you can load up on antiperspirant and breathe deeply to try and stabilize your temperature. Seven, smiling. If you find yourself smiling when you think of the person, grinning when you see them and beaming when you engage with them, that can be a sure sign of sexual tension, especially if the smiles are mutual. Eight, laughing. Laughing releases feel-good hormones and feel-good hormones put us at ease, so your propensity to laugh, giggle, and joke around with another person both builds a chemical connection and shows that you like one another. Nine, touching each other. Maybe it's a brush of their leg or a hand that lingers a little too long on a forearm after a funny joke. Whatever it is, subtle touching is definitely a sign of something bubbling beneath the surface. 10, you respond to touch by getting closer. If you happen to touch the other person, do they pull away or get closer? Do they lean in while you're talking? If they move towards you, they're probably attracted to you, or at least very comfortable with you being in their personal space. 11. You can't help flirting. Joking around, making flirty comments, and challenging each other are all signs that tension may be rising between you. If someone is flirting with you and you're not enjoying it, it's always good to respond with clarity by saying, don't say that to me, please. 
I don't like it. 12. You tease each other. Making fun of one another is a way of forging a personal bond and flirting in the process. It's also a sign that someone is paying attention to your mannerisms and actions. However, don't confuse degradation for playful teasing. 13. Daydreaming. Do you find yourself daydreaming about a particular person? If your thoughts keep drifting, you play out fantasy scenarios or often wonder how certain conversations might go, this distraction could be a sign of sexual tension. 14. X-rated dreams. Sexual dreams are totally normal, but sometimes they can be disarming, especially if someone you weren't expecting to see makes an appearance. Sexual dreams don't always mean that we want sex with the person in them. Dreams are complex expressions of our subconscious after all. However, if you find yourself having steamy dreams about a particular person regularly, there might be some desire there. 15. You gravitate towards each other. If you and the person you're experiencing sexual tension with always tend to gravitate towards each other at social events, or at work, or even just often bump into each other in the same places, there might be something in that. 16. Changes in mood. The problem with sexual tension is that it can be a source of confusion and frustration. No one is acting on their feelings and you are both likely somewhat anxious and embarrassed about them. If someone brings up attraction, dating, body language, or anything that feels too close to home in conversation, you might feel the mood change as you both respond to the shift in energy and acknowledge what you're feeling. Try not to panic. No one is calling you out. Just calmly change the subject. 17. You get butterflies. A burst of adrenaline and a rising heart rate can result in tummy flutters when the other person is around. The feeling of butterflies in your stomach is associated with nervousness, so doesn't always mean you're experiencing sexual tension. However, when combined with the other signs, it is pretty likely the tension is present. This could be just something one person feels, or it could be mutual. It's important to remember that while this could be a precursor to a relationship, these feelings are mostly led by sexual desire. So you must consider if there is mutuality and consent in case you want to pursue these feelings further. If you aren't clear if the other person feels the same, try some light flirting and see how they respond. You may notice they mirror some of your body language, make eye contact, look at your mouth, or find excuses to talk to or be around you. If you are feeling bold and it's safe and appropriate to do so, you can ask directly. This way, you are sure to know if the tension is just in your head. Just make sure you are able to comfortably and considerately deal with the answer, even if it's a rejection.